Researchers in Arizona are moving forward in their innovative approaches to medicine and the treatment of cancer. Cronkite News reporter Mariah Gallego spoke with the founders of one of the newest treatments for recurrent brain tumors. Mariah? On average, patients had to wait nearly three to four weeks before undergoing external radiation therapy to address remaining brain tumor cells. But a new product can change that. Treating brain tumors is um, a moving target, I would say. There's always new techniques. And the newest breakthrough is the gamma tile, developed by GT Medical Technologies in Tempe, a square collagen tile that releases doses of radiation over a period of time to targeted areas in the brain. Then you put the uh, tiles in around the, t the tumor bed. The tumor bed's like a little cavity where the tumor was. And, you, and in that cavity are, are the edges where the tumor was, and that's where there can be residual tumor cells. And those are the cells you want to kill. Dr. John Winabo at Banner Neurological Institute is the first neurosurgeon to use the gamma tile technology in Arizona. He says depending on how aggressive a tumor is, it can't always be fixed permanently, but the goal with using the tiles are to prevent a tumor from developing again for a long period of time. Much higher quality of life for the patient. It goes to work immediately before any residual tumor cells have a chance over three to four weeks to reestablish themselves. And it's a highly lethal dose, in fact up to two and a half times the energy within a small space than you can achieve from external sources. GT Medical Technologies CEO Matt Likens says the gamma tiles can replace the need for external radiation therapy while also preserving healthy brain tissue. That's what gamma tile provides, more months of tumor-free existence than the current standard of care. Gamma tile is one of only seven treatments for glioblastomas, which is the brain cancer that Senator John McCain had, approved by the FDA in the past 30 years. At the Digital Desk, Mariah Gallegos, Cronkite News.